This lecture video is about reviewing function notation. So we're going to take a look at this graph. And we're going to use the graph to find f of 1, f of negative 2, and f of 4. And so just remember that this f of x notation is really just a new way for us to write y. They're exactly the same thing. f of x and y are exactly the same thing. The nice thing about this function notation is that if you want to talk about more than one function, then you can call them by their names. So you could use f of x, or maybe you have another function that you're talking about, and it's called g of x. And so then you can just talk about them as f and g, instead of writing out, say, this whole equation every time you want to refer to the function. So the other nice thing about using function notation is that we have a place to put what x is equal to. And so in general, when we're just talking about a function, we say f of x. But we can talk about a particular value of x as we are right here. And so this is f at the value x equals 1. And so to find f of 1, what we do is we go to 1 on our x-axis. So that's right here. And you go until you hit a piece of graph. And that happens right here at this dot. And then you go back over to the y-axis. So that happens right here. And this graph is marked in units of 4 going along the y-axis. And so this would have a y value of negative 4. So f of 1 is equal to negative 4. For f of negative 2, so we go to negative 2 on the x-axis. So that is right here. And then again, we have to go down until we hit a piece of graph. And that happens right here. And so it's halfway in between here and here. Okay, so negative 4 is here. Negative 8 is here. This one is negative 12. This is halfway between there. So that would be a negative 10. Um, we can also talk about what point this would be on the graph. And so our x value is 1, and the y value is negative 4. So f of 1 equals negative 4 um, has the corresponding point 1, negative 4. Likewise, f of negative 2 equals negative 10 would have the corresponding point negative 2, negative 10, just so that you make that connection between the function value and its corresponding point. And f of 4 do the same thing. So we're going to go to 4 on the x-axis, which is right here. And then we're going to go up until we hit the graph. And that happens right at this red dot. And then trace over to the y-axis again, which is right here. And so that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And so f of 4 is equal to 20. And the corresponding point is 4, 20. In these next two examples, instead of telling us what x is, they've actually given us the y value. So this is actually the y value. And so we're going to go to negative 4 on the y-axis. And I'll just change colors here for doing these examples. So we go to y equals negative 4. y equals negative 4 is right here. And so we trace over to the graph. Actually, you should just draw a line because it actually happens at several places. So one place that it intersects is right here. And so that x value is about, um, looks like negative 1 and 2 thirds. It also happens right here, which is positive 1. And it also happens right here. And that looks like it's about 2 and a half. And so we could list these corresponding points as well. So these that we have listed here are the x values. So we would have the point negative 1 and 2 thirds, negative 4, 1, negative 4, using this one, and then 2 and 1 half, negative 4, using this one. 
Okay, so for this one, we just needed to give these answers, though. And our last one here, so f of x or y is equal to 0. So we'll do the same thing. And y equals 0 is really the x-axis here. So here's my x-axis. So any place this graph crosses the x-axis, we want those values. So there's one here, here, and here. And you're listing the x values for this. So that's going to happen at negative 1 right here, and 0, and then also right here at 3. All right, so that's it for this lecture video. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.